A29 go crazy. A29 got sticks. A29 so brazy. A29 throw fits. A29 so gangsta. A29 so cold. A29 so ranked up. A29 so gold. Bitch, I keep sticks, so you know I'm always toting. Talking about he rich, bitch, you know he be joking. A29. <clears throat> hey guys, it's your boy Session. I'm coming at you with a fucking banger, man. I'm coming at you with free ecstasy at the park. And how did it make me feel? Before I get into it, man, this is an HBO special. Help a brother out. Your boy's been on the ground like a skater. So might as well show some love. Ladies and gentlemen, like, subscribe, comment, ring the bell. It don't take much to show some love to your boy. Hey, your boy's been on a massive grind recently. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoy all my videos. I'm actually about to really get into a massive, massive grind. So make sure you guys stay tuned these next couple weeks. I'm about to be posting on TikTok. I'm about to actually put all my videos on TikTok and all my videos on YouTube shorts. Might be a hundred something videos, but I don't give a fuck, man. You gotta do what you gotta do to blow up, okay? So, without any further ado, man, let's take a rip and let's dip into today's story. I try to make it rhyme to be cool, but obviously, y'all already know how that went. A little rip to start off the video. Nothing crazy. Alright, y'all. Like I was saying, man, I actually forgot to add this part in, but like I was saying, oh, so I'm going to start streaming real soon. Leave in the comments below, where should I go stream at? Twitch, YouTube, Rumble, Kick. Tell me, y'all. I'm trying to blow up for real this year, all right, y'all? So, any further ado, man, let's get into today's video, all right? <coughs> so, today's video <coughs> takes place when I was 18, all right? It takes place with my boy Brandon. Jonathan, Caleb, and yeah, yeah, and me. All right, all four of us, we're chilling out, man. We were having a good time, man. I remember this was around the time where we were all really hanging out the most because uh, when we were all 18, we all really didn't get, like, our full-time ass jobs. Like, you know, hey, we were all able to chill out, skate around, have a good-ass time. So that's what's happened this particular day. I remember this particular day, we went out to Charlotte. We went to this rundown skate park. You know, I have a literally a whole entire video dedicated to this and it is an absolute banger it's like one of my top videos on this channel you can get a lot of views but pretty much this skate park wasn't necessarily a skate park all it was was some parking lot that some dudes just said fuck it we're gonna reopen it up hey it was a fucking broken down skate park that some people fixed up you know hey for the skaters by the skaters they put up a fucking bar some ramps and shit hey they fixed that motherfucker up okay ladies and gentlemen it was a nice ass skate park so, you know, we're at the skate park, we're having a good-ass time. You know, we're smoking these blunts, man. Hey, we weren't the only ones there. Everybody was just smoking on something. I mean, just people in there hitting backwoods joints. It was a lit-ass skate park. And it was in the middle of Charlotte, you know. If you guys know anything about Charlotte, you know, Charlotte, North Carolina. It's a, it's a you know, biggish city, you know. Hey, well, you know, it's the big city around here, but it's a biggish city. You know, I'll compare it to Houston. But it's not even on Houston's level, because Houston's way bigger than this. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, y'all. Hey, I'm not comparing it to H-Town, man, all right? And I ain't gonna lie. Charlotte's still up there though. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and talk down on my city, okay? But you know, we spin back on to the main city, and this is what today's story is about. I'm not gonna rumble on too much about that. You know, hey, I just really love that skate park, okay? That skate park was lit, ladies. I could I could keep going on for days about that skate park. But you know, we cruise on to my downtown, alright? And if you guys have heard about my downtown in this my channel before, you know, hey, you guys have heard about this before on this channel. I'm not gonna lie, okay? Hey, this downtown spot was the hangout spot in my city. And, A, illegally, because they had literally put up, like, a million no skateboarding signs. So, like, obviously, like, they were out there giving tickets and shit. But we used to just chill out and, A, have a good time. We used to just skate around, have a good time, man. A, it was a fucking banger out here. Let me take a hit of this, man. Oh, yeah, man, that was good. <clears throat> so like I was saying, man, we were skating downtown, and like I said, I love downtown in my city. I'm not gonna say the exact city because like I'm already giving out like Charlotte's pretty or pretty close to where I live at, so I'm not gonna give out too much details, okay? But pretty much my downtown is like an old fashioned downtown, but they they modernized it recently, so it's like a little strip, basically like a long ass strip, and there's stuff on the side of it, and they have like a baseball arena. So you know we're we're up and down the strip, and we're like cruising around, you know. <laughs> like I said, they had a million no skateboard signs, but you know we're 
Hey, we said fuck them skateboard signs. I remember a couple people actually like stole the skateboard signs and just took them home. Like just straight up just took them. And a couple of skateboard signs have been spray painted, vandalized. I mean, hey, you know, I'm not all about the vandalism shit, but sometimes I'm not gonna lie, man. Hey, these skateboarders, they really, really do be tripping. I'm not gonna lie. Like, hey, doing all that, like, I don't know, man. Like, that's a little much. But I can kind of get where they're coming from. Like, my like, dude, there's like no actual fucking skate park in my whole city except one. And it's barely open, like, like three days out of the month. Like, I'm not even making that shit up. And I remember one time I was landscaping near it, and I saw when it was open, and it was, like, one of them Cali junts. Like, it was that shit where it was just full to the brick. Like, good luck me man, even able to skate around. Only, like, the fucking, like, Tony Hawks are even allowed in there anyways. But, you know, we're chilling out, man. And I remember we go to the baseball arena. And that's one thing I actually love about my city, is they have a fucking baseball arena where it's pretty much this thing where it's, like, you can walk around it, like, during the, the daytime hours, pretty much, where you can just chill out and, you know, ride around through it, you know, have a good time, like, there was, like, no rules to it, okay, you know, it was actually a pretty chill time, like, I remember you could actually go sit down in the arena and just chill out and talk, like, pretty much you can do this to this day, actually, I'm glad nobody's ruined it, you like, you know, hey, hey, them ghetto-ass motherfuckers, them hood motherfuckers be ruining shit, like, I'm not gonna lie, like, I don't give a fuck how I sound, because I'm a ghetto motherfucker myself, but, like, I don't out here and ghetto shit myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here ghetto it up. How much time do I got? Okay, I'm making sure I'm not going too long, okay? Hey, not to interrupt y'all. But, you know, we're chilling out, and we're having a good time skating around, ladies and I remember we're just chilling out, and, hey, we end up just linking up with some guys that Jonathan knew. And the only reason I say that is we're just skating around, and these guys are just like, Hey, yo, John! And these guys were seriously fucked up. Like, they looked fucked up even before they walked out to us. And they were drunk as shit, okay, man? Like, these guys were, like, seriously drunk. Like, they were being belligerent. They were being crazy. I mean, these guys were just being hella fucking drunk. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, hey, ladies and gentlemen, these guys were just fucking crazy. I'm not gonna lie, okay? And so, you know, we're out there, we're chilling, and we're having a good-ass time. I remember, we're talking to these guys about life. And, like, you know, I'm not gonna lie, they were fucked up off of, like, you know, like, alcohol, but we're fucked up off of weed, so, like... I'm not saying we're fucked up at the same thing, but our wavelengths meet. You know what I'm saying? Our wavelengths meet. So we're all just chilling out. We're all having a good time. It's kind of funny because my boy Caleb, like, you know, he's the most clean-cut white dude. He, like, he's really, really is. And he's over here getting along with these, like, skater-ass dudes. And, like, not even on some poser shit. Like, he's just being himself. And, like, you know, that's one thing about Caleb that I always thought was funny is he's a clean-cut and white dude. But then, like, when his nerd side comes out, he gets along with all the skater people, all the ghetto motherfuckers, like, I don't know what it is, like, hey, Caleb's cool with everybody, like, you know, and it, it, it's kind of hilarious to this day, like, Caleb, he gets along with everybody, okay, ladies and gentlemen, but like I was saying, ladies and gentlemen, you know, I'm getting way too off topic, right, we're just chilling out, and I remember I talked to Jonathan's friend, I don't remember his exact name, but I'm gonna give him a fake name, I'm gonna name him Jimmy, you know, and I know it's a terrible ass name, but Jimmy, he had long hair, ladies and gentlemen, okay, and he's a Hispanic dude, and he's just talking to me, and he said he's like, he enjoys my, like, wavelengths, and he enjoys how I am, and he just, like, he loves the way I am. Like, he's like, bro, you're so chill. Like, you're such a cool dude. Like, you know, he's saying a lot of cool shit to me. And I'm like, yeah, bro, like, I really do appreciate it. Like, thank you, man. And he's just like, yeah, bro, I, I got some ecstasy. Like, you know, like, have you ever tried ecstasy before? And I ain't gonna lie, I've never seen, I never tried ecstasy. Like, the only thing I knew about ecstasy is, like, I had one friend that did it around me. And, like, you know, no homo. And two, I seen that Family Guy clip of Peter, like, fucking doing ecstasy. So, like, you know I me, mean? I didn't know what the fuck, like, anything about ecstasy. Okay, ladies and gentlemen? So I'm sitting there, and I'm just like, ladies and gentlemen, like, this is fucked. Like, you know, like, he just offered me some free ecstasy in the fucking middle of a fucking baseball stadium. And I'm just like, all right, y'all, like, you know, fuck it. Like, you know, I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm take it. Like, you know, hey, whatever, man. So, you know, I'm like, hey, man, I'll take the ecstasy. So, you know, we all go our separate ways, and, you know, we leave. You know, I go to the, I get out of the baseball stadium, and, like, you know, Caleb's talking to me, because, like, Brendan and John went their own separate ways, because I'm in a two-door whip. I remember, like, we pulled up, like, like, you know, we hung out in two different whips. It was so confusing. Like, you know, sorry, Mother Earth, but we weren't carpooling. Okay, listen, I mean, we weren't, we weren't carpooling. But pretty much, they were going to go back to Brandon's house to grab his shit, and they were going to come back to uh, Caleb's house. Because, like, Caleb's house was a hangout spot, you know. And I said it many times video before, but this motherfucker has his own movie room. This motherfucker, had, like, he basically has a whole floor to himself. Because his parents, like, have their, like, r like, room downstairs type shit, okay? So, you know, what ends up happening, ladies and gentlemen, is, you know, we go back to the house, okay? We're chilling out, and we have a good time, and we go back to the house, okay? And when we go back to the house, I'm sitting, and I'm looking at the X-Pill, and, you know, I didn't know if it was real or not. And Caleb's like, are you gonna take that shit? And, you know, this was before, like, the whole Fenton Wave really came out. Like, you know, and the Fenton Wave was, like, back then. 
but it wasn't as bad as it is now where like everybody was getting fented. Like, you know, like I'm not gonna sit here and like sit here and like act like I'm untouchable. Cause I could have got fented. Like, you know, I'm not gonna lie. But I didn't, okay? And here's why I know I didn't, okay? We're gonna get into that. So I'm just like, you know what, Caleb? I'm gonna take it. Like, fuck it. Let's see how we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna have a good night. So remember the way we had Caleb's room set up, because Caleb had a big ass room. Like his room was bigger than some people's living rooms, okay? We had two consoles on both sides of the room, right? And we're just chilling out. We're having a good ass time, okay, ladies and gentlemen? I remember we're just chilling out and we we just sit there, okay? I remember I'm not really feeling anything, but I'm I'm feeling like really, really good, you know. I'm feeling like, hey man, like, you know, hey, it's a good time. So remember 40, 50 minutes go by and I'm like, you know, where the fuck John and Brandon at? And they're telling me like, oh, their fault, like John and like had to do some shit with his moms and shit, but they're on the way now. And so maybe like and, like two hours go by and like you know, I start really feeling this shit. Like, I don't know why I didn't feel it any earlier. I, I guess it's like, you know, I, I, I don't know. I guess it's because of my first time. Y'all y'all tell me, I don't know. I, I didn't feel it very, uh, like, I didn't feel it, like, I didn't feel it instantly, okay? But, like, after a little bit goes by, I start feeling great, ladies and gentlemen. Like, I remember I feel, like, a good feeling coming up my veins. I have a good feeling coming up my, like, fingertips. Like, I just have a great feeling overall. Like, I just feel good, man. I, I feel, like, just ready. I feel good. So I'm, I'm chilling with Caleb, and, you know, I'm extra talkative. You know, we're, we're just talking, but, you know, I'm a little bit extra talkative than usual. Like, because, you know, when I'm with Caleb, you know, I, I get stoned out of my mind. So, you know, I'm not really the most talkative person. You know what I'm saying? It's a weird thing to be talkative like like that for me. Like, you know, because me, like, I get stoned till I fall asleep. You know, like, hey, that's just kind of how I am. I'm not going to lie, all right, ladies and gentlemen? I'm, I'm one of those guys, okay? I, I get stoned, and I get stoned to the point where I just fall asleep, and I don't talk nothing. You know, I just, I don't talk much. You know, hey kind of how I am, ladies and gentlemen, but, you know, we're just chilling out, and Brandon and Caleb come, I'm not Brandon and Caleb, Brandon and Jonathan come over, okay, and when they come over, man, it's a banger, you know, they, they look at me, and they're just like, bro, like, you're like, you know, eyeballs are like dilated as fuck, and I'm like, yeah, bro, I'm feeling great, like, I feel like, honestly, amazing, bro, like, I honestly feel like a great sense of, like, like, just euphoria, like, like, it was a feeling in my fingertips to a certain extent, like, I can't explain it, but, like, not like I felt like I was shaky, like, his family guy, like, I don't know if, like, I don't know what the fuck Peter was taking, like, I don't know, like, I want to be like how Peter was, like, if, if Peter was like that, like, I'm trying to be like Peter, but, like, you know, I, I wasn't, you know, but I was feeling great, okay, ladies and gentlemen, you know, we're sitting out, and we're, ha we're playing the games, man, I remember we're both playing COD on separate monitors, man, we're just in there fucking around, man, and honestly, man, I just did not want to be in the room. Like, I kept telling everybody, like, yo, let's let's go back out. Like, and everybody kept saying, like, yo, X, let's see you tripping, this, this, and that. But then I finally convinced everybody, like, let's roll a blunt, man, and let's just go for a fucking walk, you know? And everybody kind of, like, hey, they, they get they get with my idea. They, they all knew I was, like, you know, rolling off my ass. You know, they knew I was fucking going crazy. They knew what I fucking wanted to do, ladies and gentlemen. So, you know, we go outside, man. Hey, we're walking around. We're smoking this blunt. I remember I was feeling so fucking great. Like, the best way to put it is, like, I had, a, like, a sense of pep in my step. You get what I'm saying? Like, I just felt really good, like, you know, just, like, like moving around. Like, it was just a weird feeling to explain. But, like, the best way to put it is, like, I had, like, some great euphoria to the point where, like, you know when you have euphoria to the point where your heart's beating and you're feeling really, really good and, you know, you just feel great? It, it was one of those things, ladies and gentlemen, okay? But, you know... Hey, if you enjoyed today's today's story, man, leave a like, comment, subscribe, man. I don't want to draw out the story anymore because that's pretty much the story, man. I'm not going to lie. Like, well, I mean, kind of, kind of not really. I mean, the best way to put it is the rest of the night, I ain't going to lie. I stayed up to like 7 a.m. Okay, ladies man. I mean, I, I was off my ass just playing COD like a motherfucker. Like, me and Caleb were just up playing COD. Like, I remember Brandon and Jonathan, like, like, we all smoked except Caleb, but I was still up. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit had me up, Okay. But, like, we were all, like, you know, smoking around, having a good time, ladies and gentlemen. And pretty much, like, I just kind of knocked out, okay, man? It was, like, 6 a.m., bro. Like, I was up like a light. I was up like a light. Hey, yo, like a light. Hey, yo. But if y'all enjoyed today's story, man, like I said, leave a like, comment, subscribe, man. This has been a banger to tell, man. Hey, I'm going to take this hit. Let's get into it. Alright, y'all. Now, to finish off today's video, I'm actually, like, not gonna lie with y'all. I actually had to fire it from my job, you know, like, for a safety reason. I'm gonna keep it a band with y'all, you know. I wasn't following the safety rules at my job, and I got fired. I didn't have my all four points of contact, and uh, it was safety week, and I got fired and shit. So, you know, 
I mean, I ain't worried because, like, you know me, I got, like, hella job experience from my young age, and I got great job experience. But also, like, you know, I'm not gonna lie, like, I'm gonna be grinding this YouTube shit for a couple weeks before I get, like, a, like a, like a good job offer. And so, until then, man, I'm really gonna be 24-7 on this channel. Can y'all please tell me where the fuck to live stream? Yeah, I'm trying to live stream, motherfucker. I don't give a fuck what the hell we're doing, man. I'm gonna be doing how I do on these videos. We're just gonna be lit as fuck, man. Hey, for I need ideas, man. Twitch, you know, Kick, hey, hey, um, Rumble, you know, YouTube. Like, you know, like, give me some, like, uh, give me some tips, man. Cause, like, you know, I know Kai Sinat and all them blew up off of, like, Twitch. But me, I'm, I like both. Like, I like doing YouTube, but then I like doing Twitch. So, like, you know, can y'all please help me out with that? Like, you know, or, like, like, is it just, like, you know, you gotta do, like, you gotta upload them on all three? Like, you know, hey, someone explain to me in these comments, because, like, I need help with this kind of shit. You know, I'm gonna make sure I'm not cutting out. Yeah, man, I, I need help with that shit, okay, ladies and gentlemen? But, yeah, you know, I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't following the safety rule, man. Hey, your boy got axed. But I'm not really tripping, because, like, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, like, I got, like, hella, like, job offers in the area. So, it's kind of, like, I'm not really tripping, like, at the end of the day. It's just kind of like, you know, um, I don't know, man. Like, I actually want to fuck with the YouTube shit for a couple weeks. You know what I'm saying? Like, really be on it, okay? But yeah, man, tell me where I should live stream at. Or just tell me how, tell me, tell me y'all give me some ideas. Like, because I'm not going to lie, I'm be posting a lot of videos and a lot of shorts in these next couple days. Because I already know shorts are the way to blow up. You know, hey, I'm probably going to post like a, I'm not even exaggerating, bro. Like, I'm, I'm probably going to probably post like 100 shorts tonight. Like, I know it sounds exaggerated, but, like, I'm gonna, like, read a couple Red Bulls and, like, edit all my videos. Like, just go through and grab every single one of them, alright? So, if y'all enjoyed today's video, man, leave a like, comment, subscribe, man. Hey, your boy is Slessy. He on his grind mode, man. Hey, leave a like, comment, subscribe, man. Peace, boys. It's Slessy signing out, y'all.